assalamu alaikum i am hamza so welcome to another video in this video we will increase decrease the quantity of our products in our cart and we will also delete our products from our cart in the previous video we were successful in performing add to cart functionality let me show you here you can see in the navigation bar that i can add my products to my cart this is my cart component and I have some buttons here like plus icon, minus icon and a trash can. At the moment, these icons are not doing anything. By clicking on any of these, it will only give me an error of undefined and this is because in my cart component, I am dispatching an action on all of these I am dispatching an action to the card reducer file but here in the card reducer file I don't have any code written for any of that so let me show you in the original project this is my original project by clicking on this plus icon, it will increase my quantity by one and my price is also adjusted according to the quantity. Same goes for minus, it will decrease my quantity and my price is adjusted according to my quantity. I can also delete my product. This is card summary. Here I define the total price and the total quantity and price and this quantity will adjust according to whatever we have above. How many quantity and how many products we have here. So let's get into the video. But first make sure that in the index.js file your app component is not wrapped inside react.strict mode. So please remove react mode from here and then let's move to the video. Let me write some code here. But before that, make sure you have this add function here. Here I have type increment to increase the quantity. I passed an ID and passed cart object to the cart user file. Same goes for decrement and delete function So this is the code to increase the product quantity. Here I assigned cart object to the product variable and in this line I am increasing product quantity by one and here we are adjusting product own price according to quantity. In this part we are adjusting cart total price and cart total quantity. Here we are finding the index and then assigning it shopping cart area. 
here we are returning with the new product now let's see if this is running or not i should refresh the page and it is working fine now let's work on delete and minus sign before that let's write a default case here we will return whatever state we have let me just copy and paste the code for decrement and delete decrement and delete is same as increment and decrement we just need to check whether we have product dot quantity greater than one and then we will adjust everything below in delete we need to filter using filter method we need to check product dot product id and action dot id this shouldn't be a match if this is true then on the basis of above we need to adjust everything below and then return with a new product now let's see if this is working let's refresh the page Yes, I can add my product and I can decrease my product. I can add my product and I can decrease my product and I can also delete my product. And everything here in card summary is adjusted according to how many quantities I have above. So this is it from this video. In the next video, we will work on this cash on delivery button. If I click on this, I move to the cash out and here we will design a component a form for user for delivery so that's it from here thank you